Melania viciously attacked on television last night as millions of Americans watched in horror. The ignorant self-righteous yet is on The View are at it again. They have once again done the only thing they know how to do well, mock President Donald Trump and his family, but this time they have crossed the line. The video below clearly shows a bigoted xenophobic attack launched by the hosts against our lovely First Lady Melania Trump. The attack first came from Houston, who clearly says that Trump's wife, Melania, is an immigrant that doesn't speak perfect English, with beer adding but she speaks Russian, so let me get this straight. These hags attack our First Lady for not speaking perfect English but then go on to say that President Trump is producing an atmosphere where only white English speaking people are welcomed in the United States. Huh? And to top it all off and make matters worse, not so joyous beer added a full on nasty attack by saying, maybe he could look forward to an extended stay at Rikers Island, that might be a fun vacation, so he'll have his sons with him, it will be like a family reunion, her comment rightly so outraged thousands of viewers who immediately took to social media to express their wrath against the view. This isn't the first time they have mocked Melania, as reported by Joe for America, the view host takes shot at Melania Trump. When will the liberal leftists and comedians stop being so pathetic? It seems Joy Beer, 74-year-old co-host of ABC's The View was on late night with Seth Meyers earlier in the week and had to bash the Trump family again. Beer just doesn't know when to quit, like most other liberal comedians. Liberal comedians like Beer and Griffin seem to have forgotten what real comedy is all about. They only know how to use the First Lady and President Trump as open targets when it comes to their pathetic jokes. Hey Joy, maybe you forgot what happened to Griffin's tour after her stupid antic. HT Western Journalism, outspoken anti-Trump comedian Joy Beer appeared on Late Night with Seth Meyers Tuesday night and said that she feels sorry for First Lady Melania Trump. How do you frame Melania? Myers asked the View co-host. Are you one of these people that has sympathy for Melania or do you think that we should judge her exactly like anybody with free will? Beer responded that I feel sorry for her. She had to sleep with him once. At least once she did right. And then when she was in New York and we had to pay a million dollars a day to keep her here just because she doesn't want to sleep with him, we have to pay for that. I didn't like that, Beer said. Myra agreed, saying, I don't want to sleep with him, but nobody gives me any extra money. They don't pay my rent it seems, Beer was referring to the fact that Melania moved into the White House with 11-year-old son Barron just earlier this month. Of course, prior to that, Melania and Barron were living at Trump Tower in New York so that Barron could finish the school year uninterrupted. Most mothers would think that the gesture was a good thing, Melania wanting to keep school consistent for Barron, but not join Beer, nope. Tuesday's interview was not the first time Beer has attacked the Trump family. In May, Senator Al Franken, D. Min, was a guest on The View panel, where he discussed President Trump's decision to remove the United States from the Paris Climate Agreement. Franken said that he did not want to explain to his children why he didn't do more to deal with climate change. President Trump has grandchildren also, Beer said. It amazes me that he is not concerned about his grandchildren. What does that say about him? But we have to go, she added. Joy Beer is a comedian, but just like Kathy Griffin who took it over the top with her bloodied replica of Trump's head, there are certain things that are just not funny. When you poke fun of the First Lady, President Trump and their personal life the way Beer did, it's just pure tasteless. It seems the liberal leftists and comedians like Beer and Griffin can throw all kinds of jokes around about the Trumps, but if things were reversed and we were saying that about Obama, they'd be the first to call us out as racists. I guess when it comes to the First Lady and President Trump, Beer and other liberal leftists, like Kathy Griffin, seem to think it's open target season and anything goes. Enough already. It's pathetic. Americans canceled their tickets for Kathy Griffin's tour after her antic. Maybe it's time for Americans to send ABC and Joy Beer a similar notice. Stop watching shows on ABC and get them to cancel the view. When Americans hit their pocketbooks, those actions will suddenly get noticed. Actions always tend to speak louder than words. It's time to boycott ABC. I have a suggestion for all those people who took to social media to rip the view a new one over their blatant racism against Melania. The show only stays on the air because advertisers pay to have their products showcased while this scummy show is on. If you stop watching the ratings will drop to the floor and this cesspool of a show will finally be cancelled. Don't waste your time giving it more publicity than it's worth on social media, just turn off the TV, or better yet, get a job like the rest of us so you won't have time to waste watching it every damn day.